Well, hello, good people. Just two more sleeps to go until Christmas, and we finally managed to get our Christmas tree up. Yay. I don't know what your Christmas is going to look like. Ours will certainly be different from normal and different from what we had planned. And coming as we are at the end of this year that's been just so extraordinary in ways that we'd never have imagined at the start of 2020, I don't think any of us will ever forget what Christmas 2020 looked like or felt like. So what are some of the things that might help get us through? Well, first of all, I think perhaps just to accept that it is going to be different. There's no getting away from that. It is going to be different. And I've been reminded this last couple of days of a prayer, a beautiful little prayer that's very simple. It might be known to some of you. It's called the Prayer of Serenity. God, grant me serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. It's a great little prayer and maybe a prayer that will be a help for some of us at this Christmas time. Then another thing that I think will help us is as we consciously try and le to learn to show compassion and kindness. First of all to ourselves, that's not always easy is it? There probably will be moments along the way when things feel hard, perhaps very hard, moments when we're experiencing the loss of what our normal Christmas looks like, perhaps the separation from family and friends. So I was reminded of um, a phrase from the song that we heard, the choir sang it to us at Driving Carols on Sunday. Breath of heaven, hold me together, be forever near me. When things feel tough, let's simply acknowledge that they are tough, it is hard. And let's look to God to get us through, to hold us together. Then finally, I think we need to learn to show compassion and kindness to others as well, to ourselves first, but then to others also. There'll be those known to us and certainly those known to God who he might put on our hearts or bring across our paths for whom this Christmas is really, really hard. So let's just be sensitive to those promptings of the Holy Spirit to be prayerful for these people, to do what we can, to show little acts of kindness that will go a long way to helping people know that they're not forgotten. So acceptance and kindness are two things I think that will really help us get through. And let's remember that in the midst of all that is different about this Christmas, there are some things that remain the same. The birth of the Christ child that we're celebrating, the reality of Emmanuel, God with us. And church alive and active, looking to make God known, Christ known in our world. Our normal set of Christmas services is happening all online. Um, our Chris Dingle celebration, suitable for all ages at three o'clock on Christmas Eve. Midnight communion starting at 11.15 and our family celebration at 10 o'clock on Christmas Day. So do join us for some or all of those. And then church on Sunday is also happening online. 10 o'clock, it's going out. Um, on, live, on the live stream but you can catch up with it at any point and we'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. In the meantime take care, have a happy Christmas and God bless you.